California investors, if you're looking to invest on a budget, watch today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Nails, the show. This is Holton Wise TV. Hit the subscribe button. I don't care how you're getting your Holton Wise TV. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, I don't know, even LinkedIn. I don't know. Where, wherever you're at, man. Freaking parlor. D Steve, do we have a parlor account yet? I think it's coming. Coming, coming. It's coming. The parlor's coming. I believe... I believe Parler got put back up on the internet. So, I'll, yeah, we're going to get that Parler account, folks. Don't you worry. Uh, Rumble. I think we're on Rumble, too. We got, we got it everywhere. So, uh, however you want to get your Holton Wise TV, man, let's give it to you. Because what we do is we help people like you get started, continue to grow, make money in rental property investing, investing in general, right? Real estate is the name of the game, dude. I live, eat, breathe, and sleep to stuff. And my man today, Elot, is a barber from California, bro. And this is the second video I've done for you. I hit you up with a video yesterday, right? Because you came to me uh, with, with a budget that in California seems ridiculous, right? You're trying to buy multifamily in the 75K range or you're trying to buy single family in the 35K range. Now, in California, if you try to tell it to somebody in California, they're like, yo, dude, you're, you're sniffing too much uh, hairspray, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? That's impossible. But not out here in Cleveland, man. It's, it's very doable. Now, truth be told, and we talked about this in your video yesterday, brother. Uh, right now with the market, 2021, uh, 75 for a duplex, 35 for a single. That's on the low end. Uh, that's too low at the moment. In years past, have we been able to achieve those price points? Yes. Uh, in the current uh, situation in the market, no. Uh, it's got to be a little higher, but you're not far off. So yesterday I showed you a duplex that uh, was close to your 75K, uh, but a little bit more, but still made a ton of money, probably more money than you thought. So with today's video, I'm going to show you single family. It's all about giving you guys options. So uh, quick, we'll take a, a commercial break, and then we'll get into today's single family. <laughs> this Section 8 property right here, this is what I think the doctor ordered. I think this one is totally going to work out for you. Now, it's already got a Section 8 tenant in there. They are on month to month. And right here, big ticket item, okay? Updated electrical, right? Yeah, it's it's messy, okay? Like, yes, is there a freaking door in the middle of this person's dining room? You bet your ass there is. Uh, I don't know why that door is there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, is there a whole bunch of, like, cat food just, like, chilling on the floor? Yeah, yeah, there is, okay? Uh, this is what D and C grade investing typically looks like, right? It's not glamorous, but it's not horrendous, right? As far as big ticket items, your electric panel, as I told you, was upgraded. Uh, this furnace, probably 15, 20 years old. Hot water tank, somewhere in the 10-year range. Just so you know, these last about 30 years, cost three Gs. These last about 15 years, cost a G, right? That's to replace those. So uh, you'll factor those costs in in your capital expenditure budget, which we'll go over shortly, right? Uh, just a couple other shots, right? So is this thing uh, fancy? No, but Section 8 real estate investing, it never is fancy, okay? And by the way, the address, it's 2059 West 104th, Cleveland. Been on the market for 46 days, and the price is 79.9. Now, here's the thing. This is a long-term Section 8 tenant, right? They put this person in quite a while ago, and they're on a month-to-month -month lease, which is great because the market rent, because this is a four-bedroom, one-bathroom house, the market rent for this is 1100 13200 Now, if they were already bringing in the market rent for Section 8, I don't think you'd have the opportunity to buy this for the price I think you could buy it. Right now, I want you to be able to pick this up at 70 If you pick it up at 70 I anticipate your fixed and variable expense estimates for the year to be just under 6000 right? That's calculating saving for those big ticket items, right? Like I, I told you, furnace, three Gs, hot water tank, a G, right? You probably got about a decade or so left on each of those, right? So every year I'm going to have you save 
$660 for those big ticket items. You're not going to spend that money. You're probably going to put that in your pocket now, but I don't want to fluff you and make you think that that's actualized returns because those big ticket items are coming, right? Roof is about 7 Gs. They last 30 years. I have no reason to believe this is a brand new roof. So those costs are coming. So we calculate for those. And even calculating for those, if you picked it up at 70 k you'd only put down 17 and a half, and that would be a 26.2% return on your money. But, but remember, as I said, that'd be if... You got the market rent of 1100 I don't think it would sell for 70 k if it was already there, right? What has happened is the current seller has placed the tenant in this property years ago when the voucher amounts were lower. They're at 900 Now, Section 8 doesn't just call you on the phone like, hey, bruh, what's up? Guess what, man? We're the government. We want to give you some more fucking money. That's not how this works, right? I think you all know that. The only people that think the government's going to call you and give you money are liberal assholes. Oh! Damn. That was a good one. Zing. But if you're not a liberal asshole, you know the government's not going to come out and just try to hand you free money, right? And if you're not a liberal asshole, you know it's not really free money. It's just other people that have worked hard. It's actually their money. But, hey, that's, that's the show for another day, right? So you know the government's not coming back to you like, yo, dude, let's give you more money, right? So what you have to do is you have to go through the process with Section 8, uh, more specifically in this case, CMHA, that's uh, the housing authority that runs Section 8 in the Cleveland market, we would need to go file to get the rental rate increased. Is it an absolute guarantee that we get it to 1100 on the first shot? No, but there are no guarantees uh, when dealing with the, uh, the bureaucracy that is the government. But again, the pros, in my opinion, far outweigh the cons in a normal circumstance because as you get into C&D neighborhoods like this, the risk goes up, right? The biggest things we have to worry about are non-payment of rent and evictions, right? In my chart there, right, I have vacancy and non-payment of rent. Every year you're saving 660 Well, if we can keep a government-guaranteed tenant happy, keep them in your property for 10, 15 years, why are they going to move, right? The rent is free, you're going to save a lot of freaking money. In addition, right, your repairs and your maintenance, we're saving 660 for that, right? This is actual money that comes home to you, but I'm telling you eventually you're going to need to pay big bills, so you're going to take that back so you can't really consider it return, right? But if you can avoid those repairs and maintenance and you can avoid the vacancy and non-payment, dude, you're going to be making so much more money because repairs and maintenance, folks, a lot of people think that, like, as a property manager, you have, like, a lot of bills, like, a repair in January, February, March, April. That's not how it works. The majority of your repairs are going to come at a turnover. So if you can avoid turnovers, your return is going to be huge. So even if Section 8 didn't go all the way to 1100 which is what we typically see for properties like this with the four-bedroom vouchers, even if that doesn't happen, you're still beyond – well and above beyond the curve on this one with that government guaranteed tenant. So let me know if you'd like me to write up an offer because I think this one's a banger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.